Hi, right, Robin with OxyDry. I'm doing a, a fairly small job today. Um, and uh, just uh, this, most of the, the uh, outer perimeter, perimeter of this bedroom wasn't going to do the area rug. Um, and I've got another small area in a uh, family room to do. Uh, but then when I was uh, talking to the lady, she asked me about, do we do area rugs? And of course we do. And so she decided to add both this rug and another one in the living room, both the same size, so to uh, 80 square foot uh, area rugs. So these are wool, but I'm just going to show this particular one here. It's in really good shape. Really nice looking rug. I really like the look of this one. So I just thought I'd show you how I go about doing them. Um, and uh, I've given it a really good uh, pre-vacuum going over various directions uh, to get the maximum amount of dust and contaminants out using the work work horse, horse vacuum of course did an excellent job and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over it first with this uh, this brush uh, I find the brush works extremely well uh, when doing uh, the wool rugs it's my preferred way of going about uh, cleaning them usually I go over it with a brush first and then I'll use a, a pad and I usually actually use um, two-way pads when I do wool rugs Although not always, but uh, that's what I've decided to do on this one. So we'll just uh, lock it in. It drops into place. Now I'm engaged and away we go. And of course I am cleaning with Nanomax, which is a uh, um, 97 percent food grade plant based ingredient cleaner which is odorless or virtually odorous odorless and um, has a health rating of zero which is the lowest rating you can get uh, and it's um, contains AFT, a uh, protector as part of the formula. And it's safe on wool because it's uh, a neutral neutral pH cleaner. Does not leave any soil attracting residue of any sort. Just leaves the protector actually. And uh, works really well. I'm using it at about one ounce per gallon. And uh, I do have stabilized CLO2 in the solution as well, which is my normal practice. <clears throat> and uh, so I just take my time. I'm applying just enough to keep the, the, the rug a little bit damp. You probably can't quite see that in the camera, but it's just turning a little bit. As I go over it, you can see it turning slightly you see a little bit of the white mustache effect happening. I'm just applying enough. Of course, wool does absorb more than a synthetic, so you can apply actually more than if it was a synthetic rug without any concern, because it mops it up basically, you could say. And I've cleaned quite a, there's an area rug cleaning plant in town as well. She actually had these cleaned by the area rug plant before. But I've cleaned many rugs they've cleaned after the fact. And in every case, the customers told me that when I'm finished with it, it looks better than uh, when they had it cleaned by the local area rug cleaning plant. I'm not going <laughs> to argue with that. Um... I know why that's happened, why that is, but it's because the um, the effect of uh, this scrubbing action really does polish the wool yarn very effectively, and it needs that um, scrubbing action and just um, saturating it and spinning it out. Um, you you need to finish them with a with a pad of some sort to, 
transfer off that film that will uh, accumulate on the um, surface of the yarn, but you can argue about that, but that's my position on that. <laughs> anyway, you can see the colors are really popping. It wasn't really very soiled, at least didn't appear so, but it was kind of dull and dingy. There's a, a dog in the house, a really beautiful um, dog, a um, looks like a border collie uh, flat coat retriever um, mix. She's a real beautiful, real friendly dog, probably weighs about, I guess maybe around 70 pounds or so. So she's always on the rug, and that explains why I got such a, a large amount of hair into the vacuum. So, now I've basically gone over the whole rug twice with the brush. It's nice and easy. I'm going to switch. check here yeah it's quite damp actually so I won't be needing to add anything <coughs> anymore <clears throat> pardon me any more um, solution because it's damp enough for sure actually, it's a little bit damper than I would like but <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> dry throat here things about another one of the nice things about using rotary is uh, its ability to easily clean rugs like this and I've used OPs in the past and uh, um, they can really pull a lot of yarn out of the wool rugs and that's one reason why I don't like using my OP but of course the uh, Rotary is no problem. Well, we've got a couple of sprouts here, and if you can see that, I'll show you right here. They're right here. Must be from the dog. Now they won't they won't pull out, which is what you would expect with a good quality rug because they're it's knotted. So I'm just going to snip those off. Probably the dog's uh, claws were pulling at that a little bit. Oh, there's some more over here. And no, that was not the brush that did that. Not at all. Okay. Retracting claws of the dog can uh, do that. <clears throat> this is a real good quality area rug, actually. So, uh, uh, 
one probably was a pretty expensive one too, I bet. Really like the uh, colors of this one. Interesting pattern too. So just nice and easy. Let the machine do its job. Oop. Yeah. Yeah. Just let it work. Nicely. Easily moving. No effort to move it on the rug. Just down the handle. I'll lift the handle up a little bit. I'm actually clean with one hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually finish this rug other than grooming it. So what does the two day look like? Aha. Uh -huh. Would you look at that? See? Isn't that amazing? I expected that. <laughs> I find the two ways after the brush seem to work really really nice. Anyway, so I'm gonna go and do the other one. And uh so thanks for watching. Have a good day.